Hello and welcome everybody to a Fallout 4 mod review. The mod I'm going to be reviewing today is called Better Settlers. Better Settlers is a mod that adds diversity and, in an indirect way, character to your settlers. It does not improve their AI, which you might think from looking at the title. Uh, what it does is, in fact, it gives them various armor, equipment, and etc. that they have on their persona. Ignore the naked guy. For example, uh, this person has caged armor on her. The mod basically does that, or uh, well, this one has leather armor and a hat and, and all that. It has a 25% chance to roll a hat, is all I remembered from the percentage chance of them getting various gear. There is five different, or oh, sorry, there are five different tiers of equipment that uh, your settlers can get. Tier 1 being the sort of most basic equipment that they get in the vanilla, not really in the vanilla game, but the most basic equipment you can get. And tier 5 being the best armors um, that a settler can have on him. Heavy armor, heavy combat armor, and some really advanced stuff like that. They don't come in power armor though, which is just, it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, anyways, the mod itself does just that adds them uh, gives them different different uh, equipment different accessories different weapons as well which is very important uh, some more powerful if if uh, the settler is fortunate I suppose or lucky enough to, to roll uh, a powerful weapon when when the RNG determines which uh, which sort of equipment they will have for example if we talk to this one, You'll see that she got a pipe pistol and a short hunting rifle. So she had a short hunting rifle and then got a pipe pistol from the mod, or vice versa, doesn't matter. Essentially, I know that someone might say, well, this is not exactly fair, it gives powerful weapons to your, or it just gives weapons to your your settlers, I want to equip my settlers myself, and etc, etc. And whilst, yes, that is fair enough. Oh, there's one with metal armor. Nice. Uh, when whilst fair enough, uh, I understand why you might want to do that. It doesn't, however, make sense that everyone that comes to your settlement is just in a t-shirt. And some pants and nothing else, or, or some of them have a crappy pistol as well. How do they survive in the wasteland all this time if they come to your settlement with literally almost nothing? Uh, it makes far greater sense that some of them would actually contribute when they move in. To live with you, uh, or to live under your rule, if you will. Uh, and it makes a lot more sense that they would have at least some basic equipment on them, and some of them are obviously going to be a bit more advanced and have more powerful weapons than others. Uh, the mod author, there are, the first of all, disclaimer, there are known bugs with the mod. Uh, the naked guy, I'm assuming, being one of them. Uh, the, the link to the mod will be in the description, uh, the, ne the link to the Nexus website, and then the, the mod's over there, and you'll be able, to, you'll be able to, to take a detailed look at what the mod actually does, and, and all the numbers and the, the meat behind the, 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 the actual thing, what's it called? Assigning them uh, equipment and, and stuff like that. You'll be able to, to take a look at it over there, however... There are known bugs, and I'm assuming the mod author will eventually fix them. But they're, they're a sort of... They're, they're, they're a minor nuisance more than, than anything that seriously gets in the way of you of you enjoying this mod if you, if you choose to install it. That said... One of the uh, other things that is going to get updated with uh, in the mod eventually uh, is some of them are going to be named Hero Settlers. Uh, if you played Fallout New Vegas, Vegas heavily modern, and you modded the game, you'll know that there is uh, there are, there are a few mods actually that add hero wastelanders or hero this hero that unit uh, NPCs sorry to to the game, and what those those NPCs basically are are very high level uh, units. Well, they're units if they're in the military. They're just civilians if if not, uh, but high level NPCs with legendary equipment. And this is something that the mod will add, although obviously will make them very, very rare to see uh, out in, in um, the wasteland and in your settlements randomly spawning. So I'm going to go over and fast travel to another settlement with a bunch of people in it. Uh, there we go. 
and we're going to see some other varieties of equipment that you can you can find in this mod. So, as I said, it adds variety, obviously, and in an indirect way, character to to your to your settlers because you see someone in combat armor and you're like, oh. That person is probably tough. Let's put them at uh, on guard duty. You see someone with basic equipment, or non uh, non advanced or basic equipment with just a t-shirt and, and a pipe pistol. You go, oh, okay, you'll do farming because you're a wimp, <laughs> basically. Um, and that is more or less it. Uh, my sort of final uh, review of this and my my final thoughts on the mod are as follows. The only thing that uh, might make me uninstall this, the only sort of thing I, I, the only reason why I might remove the mod and, and not use it anymore, because I think it's a really good mod and I'm going to keep this uh, until further notice, is if the mod isn't compatible with some of the, yeah, that's a bug. Don't worry about it. Is if the mod isn't compatible with some. Uh, of the Gek and, and Phase uh, mods that tweak with the Settlers. Though I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, I hope that the, the, the mod author keeps it up to date with, with the mods that we're going to get after after Gek gets released. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking that that'd be, that would be really, really nice. And also remove the Naked People bug. I mean, I'm assuming that, that that's fairly high up on the on the priorities list is to have that not happen. It actually might fix itself after a certain period of time and then rolling new equipment and, and getting it. Though I'm not sure whether it works like that or not. Uh, anyways, the only, as I said, the only thing is if it isn't updated and mods that, that tweak with settlements and settlers get get published and I won't be able to use them because I'll have this, then that's the only reason why I might not use this mod. I just noticed a pistol under here. Uh, but other than that, I think that it's, a, it's a great mod and it, it adds adds some, it, some in, in some way, uh, well, for me at least, it is, it is immersion to the game and, and I, I will most definitely keep it. So, That said, uh, it pretty much concludes my, my mod review of this. I think it's a, it's a great mod and uh, props to the mod author for, for, making and for making this and enabling us to use it, I guess. If you have any questions regarding the mod, uh, feel free to not ask me and ask the mod author himself in the Nexus but, uh, mod page, but of course if you, if you want to type it down in the comments, I will try my best to give you a, a response. Um, if I know the answer to your question, that is. Uh, I'm interested as to what you guys think about the mod. Uh, do you think it's a, it's a cool one? Are you going to be putting it in your load, o load order? And um, how do you think this, this mod can be improved other than removing naked people? That's actually probably someone that likes that and, and can come up with an interesting backstory as to why the weapons dealer is naked. That's besides the point. Um... One last thing is, if you if you do choose to install this mod and you find it interesting, uh, based on what you've seen, then I would advise you carefully read the in instructions on installing it, especially if you plan on installing any patches. The mod itself is very easy to use and install because you just put it in the Nexus uh, mod manager and click install and there you go. But if you're going to use some of the patches, then you might want to read... Um, where you you should put them in in regard in relation to other mods that you might have installed and etc etc. There's useful information regarding that. Anyways, yeah, uh, by the way, it does change provisioners as well because technically they are settlers. Uh, and I am sorry, but you are not taking a welding helmet. Goodbye. <laughs> There we go. That will more or less it. Uh, more or less be it. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel and and uh, take a look at the, some of the other content that I produce on this channel. Uh, other than that, bye bye, and take care until next time. Come, my minions, rise for your master.